the titanarum, the flower that smells like a corpse. Overview. The titanarum is the biggest flower on the planet, reaching over 3 meters tall. It is also called the corpse flower, and gets this name from the smell it emits while blooming. First of all, I must clear up the confusion. This presentation will be about the corpse flower titanarum, not the reflesia, which happens to also be called the corpse flower. These two flowers are not closely related, and their odor emission is a result of convergent evolution. Here's the table of contents. Taxonomy. The full name of the titanarum is Streptophyta magnoliopsida alismatalis arachiae amorphophallus titanum. The phylum Streptophyta is made of the Latin terms strepto and phyta. Strepto means twisted, and phyta means plant. Combined, the name denotes that this phylum is made up of twisted shaped plants. The class Magnoliopsida encompasses all flowers and derives its prefix from the magnolia, a common flower. The suffix opsida means looking, so combining the two shows that this class comprises plants that look like magnolias, in terms of the fact that they are like flowers. Furthermore, Magnoliopsida is the clade that denotes that titanarum is a dicot, as all plants in this clade are. Order. Alisma talis. This order's name comes from the Latin words alisma and alis. Alisma means aquatic plant, and alis quite literally means the word order. Together, the name means the order of the aquatic plant. Family. The family name is the... The family name Arachiae is derived from the words Arum and Achiae. The word, the former being a type of spathe leafed flower, and the latter meaning resembling. Together, the two words mean Arum flower resembling, which denotes that the members of this family resemble the Arum genus. This may be confusing, however, as Arum is the name of an unrelated genus of flowers. This is like how elephant seals aren't related to elephants, but are named after them due to a superficial resemblance. Species classification. The Amorphophallus genus is derived from amorpho and phallus. Amorpho meaning misshapen and phallus meaning penis. So together it means weird looking penis. Titanum means refers to titans, which are mythological creatures that are very large. So, together, the species name Amorphophallus titanum means large, misshapen penis. Reproduction The Arum's life cycle is very complex and is actually composed of two distinct phases. First of all is the leaf cycle, which makes up a majority of the plant's life. It is the phase it goes through first, when the seed, called a corm, is planted and grows into a tree-looking specimen. It grows a tall green stalk and large leaves to absorb solar energy. Once the tree-like individual decides it's time to reproduce, it kills itself and begins the flower cycle. This is when it becomes the iconic Titan Arum, the on and this only happens every few years. Instead of spouting into a stem with leaflets, the spike blooms into the beautiful corpse flower and begins to emit its scent. The titanarum can reproduce sexually or asexually by pollinating itself, but sexual reproduction is preferred as this increases the genetic diversity. So why does it smell so bad? To attract flies to land on it, the titanarum will use its awful odor. This is similar to how flowers use bees to pollinate themselves, but instead of attracting bees, it attracts flies. These flies will go into the plant and pick up the pollen to, to pollinate into other titanarums. Prominent structures in the titanarum include the corm, spadix, spathe, and the actual flower part of the plant. The spathe is the large leaf that surrounds the lower portion of the plant resembling petals of a flower. Unlike other flowers, the true flowers of the titanarum is in its spadix, which is the large inflorescence that arises from the center and makes it look like a phallus. 
The flowers are tucked near the base of the inflorescence, as well as the seeds located in the fruit. Due to the influence being, inflorescence being a cluster of flowers, the title of biggest flower is quite misleading, as it is actually a group of, you know, quite average sized flowers. Growth preferences. The Titanarum grows in Sumatra, Indonesia, which is a large island in the west of the Indonesian Apa archipelago. Sumatra is a luscious expanse full of rainforests with a lot of diversity in flora, including the Titanarum. Since it lies near the equator, the climate is very humid and warm, making it an excellent habitat for many different species of flowers. The entire island lies in the higher hardiness zones, from 12 to 13. This indicates that the minimum temperature of the country ranges from 10 degrees to 15 degrees Celsius. Genetic varieties. There are only 100 corpse flowers in the wild, meaning genetic variety isn't great. There are so few corpse flowers in the wild because of their slow reproduction time and deforestation, sadly. Some other species of the Amorphophallus genus include some other flowers, but none of them are as large as the Titanarum. Some of these include the Amorphophallus gigas, which is almost the size of the corpse flower, but not as big. The Amorphophallus konjac, which is used as a Japanese herb, and the Amorphophallus pranii, which has a notably weird fluorescence. Despite differences in shape, size, and color, all species in the Amorphophallus genus have the characteristic cone-shaped flowers and long spadix, which is the protrusion at the top. Ecology The Titanarum has no prey since it is a plant, and once it has grown to maturity, it has no predators other than humans. So why is the flower so big? The flower has evolved to be this huge, so that it can more effectively spread its odor and attract pollinators. Over millions of years, the arums that grew the largest inflorescences were the ones able to best attract flies to spread their genes, so natural selection eventually made them the size they are today. As you can see in the diagram, the smaller titanarum died, while the larger one was able to reproduce. Importance to Humanity The Titanarum marks a cornerstone in the beauty of the Sumatran rainforest. Its ginormous size and bright coloring boldly represents the magnificent beauty that our world's plants have to offer. More actions must be taken if we wish to preserve the corpse flower and other plants like it. After all, if Sumatra is the Louvre, then the Titanarum is the Mona Lisa. Here's my work cited, and thanks for watching.